Father Chris's closing homily was on the Trinity and related it to the pilgrimage. It was quite excellent, and we have it on a separate video you can listen to in its entirety. Heavenly Father, we implore you to send down the Holy Spirit upon these religious items. All those who use them, all those who pray through them, and all those who are prayed for by them. Through the intercession of Mary and all of the saints, and through the passion, death, and the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, may all these items be blessed, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. So it puts that right in the face of the majority of the population, which is Jewish population. He has a friend, a, a brother, a half-brother. His name is Fatzael. Fatzael helped him get control over the kingdom, and Herod became officially the king. Ruled, We're on candid camera. Bless you. 33 years. We're on our way to the Israel Museum where we see the Second Temple period city as it was during the time of Christ. It's a whole city. You can walk around it on a scale of 1 to 50 and Amr is showing everybody the city. This is a Temple Mount. We bring people here on their optional day. This is magnificent because you can see the temple right there in Solomon's court, or a portico, I should say, where Jesus used to teach the disciples and where the early Christians gathered. There's our group right there. There's Amir over there taking the group on a tour around the city, explaining all the details. Pool of Siloam is right down in that area. I'd be standing here at the top of the Mount of Olives. That's kind of the perspective. Looking down, the Kidron Valley would be here and then going up into the Golden Gate there and into the city of Jerusalem. There is the Antonia Fortress right there where Pilate and Herod would frequent and you can see right along there those little white walls. Those kept the Gentiles out of the temple. That's what it talks about when Jesus uh, at the cross tore down that dividing wall so that we have access to the Holy of Holies right there. to these three towers right there. First of all, this model is built in the scale of 1 to 50. This is 50 times smaller than reality. This model is built thanks to the efforts of a professor of archaeology. His name is Professor Aviona. And the arrow points to Calvary. The circle is around the tomb. This is the roof of the Shrine of the Book where we're going in next to see the Dead Sea Scrolls. It's white to represent the Sun of Light contrasted with the black, the Sons of Darkness, and the water there is kind of a natural air conditioning system for below. It's also the shape of one of the jars that they found the Dead Sea Scrolls in. Yes. And we keep going down. Look at the hill country of Judea. That's what we read about in the Gospel. This is all Judea. This is all the territory of the tribe of Judah. That's why it's called Judean Desert. We keep going down, and in a minute, you're going to see a mark, I mean, a sign of the side of the road. Along the way, we see these Bedouin camps, and I tell people that this is Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. We filmed in some of these for our Abraham movie and got in the camps and cooked lentil soup with them and worked with the goats. It was pretty interesting. We take people down to the Jordan River to the authentic baptismal site of Jesus where John the Baptist was on the other side of the Jordan. And when Jesus came down, it says also all the people of Jerusalem came down. It's almost 30 miles. This is our group on the Jordan River praying the mystery of the baptism of our Lord. There you can see the river, look at that. We call it the Mississippi of Israel. There it is. That's the country of Jordan over there. This is the border between Israel and Jordan. That's the country of Jordan. baptismal vows before God 
and these brothers and sisters in Christ. To each respond, I do. Do you reject sin so as to live in the freedom of God's children? I do. Do you reject Satan, the father of sin and prince of darkness? I do. Do you believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth? I do. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was born of the Virgin Mary, was crucified, died, and was buried, rose from the dead, and is now seated at the right hand of the Father? I do. I do. do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting? I do. This is our faith. This is the faith of the Church. We are proud to profess it in Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. Amen. And, I and I renew your baptismal vows in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. I get more water on myself than on y'all. <laughs> one more shot. One, two, three, go! That wasn't very good. Try it again. One, two, three, go! Amen. We renewed our baptismal vows at the place that Joshua crossed over before he went and conquered Jericho. This is the Palestinian flag because Jericho is in the Palestinian West Bank. And this is a sycamore tree like the one that Zacchaeus climbed up. And here we're seeing the mountain of temptation where the devil showed Jesus the kingdoms of the world. And we saw those before we arrived at the temptation restaurant where everybody enjoys a good bit of time for eating and shopping. And here is a view of the restaurant. We've just arrived at the Temptation restaurant here in Jericho, where there's fresh food and water and everything in abundance. Jericho's nice. Jericho is very nice. What, you, what did you just say? I said Jericho is very nice. It is. It's a racist oh. in the desert. I'm just going to show you a little bit of where they're going to be. Here they got all the Dead Sea products for skin and lotions and mud masks, things I never use, but my wife does. Over here is the Hebron glass and icons and t-shirts and everything you can imagine. You here is you? the uh, sign and the waterfall. And here we're gonna take everybody up for lunch. And here's where we bring our group up for lunch. Look at these buffet lines. Quite a wonderful amount of food. One, two lines there, two lines here, and another two lines over there. Great stuff. Everybody loves this meal. French fries, pizza, kebab, anything you can want. And there's my friend. Here we are approaching Qumran where we always stop and we like to say that John the Baptist was probably a member of this community and the Essenes probably recognized Jesus as the Messiah. This is probably where John the Baptist was prepared for his ministry. Here is cave number four where the first of the Dead Sea Scrolls were found and here's a little closer view. One time when we were here there was actually a goat in the doorway. After Qumran, we go to the Dead Sea where everybody gets to float, but it was 117 degrees today. And here's Donna, one of our pilgrims and I having a good cold beer. Our pilgrims all went down and had a dip in the Dead Sea. Always a Hey, treat. Chris. Hey, Peter. You're doing a selfie in the Dead Sea? Hello, Donna. What do you think? You like it? Isn't that weird? There's our folks out in the Dead Sea. There they go. They're already saying, oh my gosh, I can't believe it. Curly, how are you? Wave. Oh, you guys are doing great. Thank <laughs> you. 
Look at him reading the newspaper! Ah. Look at that! <laughs> Gotta stay down or you'll fall if you bring it up here. There's my friend Joseph. He helps our people. I gotta throw out the buys at work. Just so awesome. Learned so much. And uh, it was a great, great experience. Marians. Give us a wave, Father. Facebook pictures on this one. Hey, Father. Give us a wave. Okay, Father, look at me. This is for the, the Marians. That's right, this is for the Marian Helper magazine. I'm going to get a picture. There we go, that's even better. I think the ride's over there. Okay, Abraham. Abraham, what was it like riding that camel all the way from Mesopotamia, Abraham? <laughs> Let's take her all the way to Jerusalem. <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> really, just fine. Wonderful day. Can't, can't beat the weather. <laughs> Give us, a sh give us a wave here. Oh. It's not going to let go. <laughs> Abraham, Father Abraham, how are you doing up there? I'm doing well. Leaving Ur of Mesopotamia. Yeah. <laughs> Traffic jam. I got a picture of you taking a selfie of yourself <laughs> on the Good. camel. We have a demonstration how to get down. There goes one knee. Why do they make the noise? That means down. Ah. What do you think? Very smooth. Just like he knew what he was doing. <laughs> he certainly knew what he was doing. I don't know about me. Good job. After the camel ride, we headed back up into Jerusalem for everybody to pack and have a nice dinner, take a shower, and then we took them to the airport so they could all fly home. But there's another video coming, and that will be of people's comments and farewells. It's always fun to watch.